Hey everybody, so I posted a picture on my Instagram of my craft room and uh, I'm just going to show you guys some things that I have in here that people were requesting to see. So the one, the first thing I want to show you is um, my Rasco cart. So I have two and it's a little messy right now because I was actually filming something earlier so I just threw a bunch of stuff in here because it was in the way. So, the first things first is this is the Rascal cart. And it is turquoise and it matches a lot of the stuff in my room. Um, there, there's three compartments. I'm sure if you're familiar with the Rascal cart, it is perfect for Project Life and it's also perfect for other household essentials. Like, I've seen them in bathrooms, I've seen them in baby rooms, I've seen them in kitchens. So, they actually work great. And I do have two. So, this one rasco cart is actually um filled with just my um i guess you can say like my tools so i do have my stamps and this is actually this little container right here um i don't know the name it might be under so this is it basically holds all of my stamps um it's just all my clear stamps i know a lot of people complain about the um the new uh studio calico packaging i'm not a fan of it either and it kind of is, it doesn't really work with my cart as well, but what do you got to do? You know, it is what it is. That's the way they made it, and that's the way you got to deal with it. So I actually am considering putting these guys in plastic sleeves because they just get all over the place. I mean, especially when you're using them a lot, they just get just wherever and wherever they want. Um, so my pens are all in here. I also smash, so I have all the smash pens. These are actually really good to journal with, and they don't bleed in your Filofax, so just an FYI. Um, my scissors, my uh, mark, I think these are, what are these? Markets? These bleed, FYI. So these do bleed, but they're great for journaling in Project Life. My Copics, my Slick Writers, um, my, preci my pre pre Precision, Precision Prens. Somebody will correct me, I'm sure. And um, my alpha stamps. This is great also for uh, filofaxing. Obviously my, my scotch gun um, in here again. I just threw these in here. This is actually, oh, and just an FYI. This is everybody asking me where I get my thin um, washi tapes from. They are from Michaels. So, you know. I think they discontinued them, so they don't make them anymore, so I bought um, double of these. These are great. These are the pastel ones, and these are the bold primary ones. Uh, my permanent markers, my um, Statler pens, um, whiteout and glue, some wood veneers, stamp cleaner, tidbits. This is actually, this little box is from Seven Gypsies. Um, this little bin right here, this little egg holder thing, it's made out of glass, it's porcelain, it's from Anthropology. I have a Martha Stewart punch, just a bunch of random knickknacks that I have. But unfortunately it works for me, so <laughs> it's just a bunch of random stuff everywhere in here. Um, some more stickers, um, some confetti, some foams, some letter alphas, these are all alphas. So it's all in here. I'll do a 360 so you can see the back. So this thing rolls. It's amazing. I love it. Love it so much. And then on to my second one. This one is actually just my Project Life stuff. So all right here is, um, these, are all, these are all file um, tags. So I sort them by, um, Let's see if I can focus that on there for you. I've, I store these actually by um, kits. So I do all my 3x4s pretty much on the right side and then the front because they're really easily accessible. And then the back because the way the slots are, this is the Anton cart again um, divider from Ikea. And then I put all my 4x6s in the backs. And then there's still space right here, so I put punches there. So that's the top, because this is actually where I where I grab the most from. So I try to use the top stuff for things that I grab. And then under here is, um, you know, pictures, ephemeras, memorabilia stuff, um, my blocks, 
um, more pictures. I like glassine bags because I don't feel bad when I'm just throwing them around. Here's some more ephemeras. Things I'm going to eventually um, project life. Here's some punches. Again, this is the Antoine um, divider. And then I have under here um, some more embellishments, just like flat embellishments um, and stickers. And then I have just things that I really rarely don't use are all in here. Um, and then I have an empty space back there. Clearly, I don't use this bottom shelf so much. And then just some labels. So that's the rascal cart. And then up here is my desk. Um, I'm actually in the middle of getting a brand new desk. Um, I'm going to be getting a new desk. Uh, probably going to be making it. Because this desk is actually a, um, it's a nice size desk, but it's glass. So I don't like to see through it. And that's why I have this mat on here. I have two mats, actually. Um, this is from Sharper Image. It's a great size. Let me see if I can back up for you guys. Um, it is actually a really, really good large size. It's a, I think it's 59 by 27. So it's a great size, um, but just not what I really want right now or need. Um, this is my vintage uh, typewriter I got from Craigslist. Um, a lot of people ask where I get them from. I just strongly suggest buying local because this thing is really heavy. I mean, it's probably like 25 pounds. I mean, it's it's really heavy. Um, so don't buy anything online unless the person's offering free shipping. And plus, it's it's very, um, you know, antique -y. So, I mean, I don't even know that's a word, but it's just like very old. So you want to be careful with it. And uh, this actually, this brand still has... They still make ribbons, so I would strongly suggest if you're going to buy a typewriter to find one that already has uh, a bunch of ribbon available or is still current where you can purchase ribbon. So that's that. Um, and then I have these um, colander strainers that I use. I just think it's really easy for like, you know, like these little diary um, Japanese or Korean um, stamps for my Filofax. I love that it's just a small, cute size. This is probably like two cups. And then I also have another medium sized one for my bigger blocks. Um, my my uh, Studio Calico, you know, wooden handle ones, my Kelly Perkies. I love this Calander um, holder. And then I have obviously a big giant one for all my date rollers. And yes, I have every single one because I'm crazy and I just need to collect all of them. I even have this old. Um, uh, this is Heidi Swap's old school. I mean, this is like straight up old. I think this has like 1998 on here. Yeah, it's actually right here. You can see. Let me see. I try to zoom in for you. Oh. There it is, 1998. Um, and then obviously my most popular post was my washi tapes. And um, these are my reds, uh, my pinks my yellows, um, my greens, my teals, my blue and purple. I don't really have too much purple. Um, and my browns, my black and whites. And then back here is my peg wall. Um, I feel like I need to get it a little bigger because it's kind of short right here. And I might have space for like another one. Um, but this is my stamp colors that I always use. My Shop Evolicious um, stamps. Um, these are my enamel dots. Can you tell I'm obsessed with them? Actually, I do get a lot of them from Studio Calico, so I don't feel too, too bad. Um, and then these are my bigger plastic uh, stamps. And then here's some more thinner washi tapes, um, some tags that I have for sizing reasons. I have my paper clips for my Filofax stuff. Um, these are crop bags that I got from Studio Calico last call. I think I got them for like a dollar. Um, one more thing, this is my We Are Memory Keepers tape. I use this for packaging. So if you ever got packaged stuff from me, I pretty much use the, I think this is like the strongest um, tape when it comes to mailing through the mail. This is um, really, really good sturdy tape. It's from Target. Um, I have a refrigerator because I like to eat here a lot. Um, just some sewing stuff. These are extra washies that I have that I usually like to give to my friends. 
Um, these are my dashboards. Um, and now this is my desk. It's a little messy. It's not really a work desk that I use. I like to think that it is, but it really isn't. It's really just um, catch catch all desk. I'm sure we all have a desk like that. Um, this is where all my philos and stuff go. Um, all my Filofax stuff actually goes here. Uh, these are my philos. I have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I obviously have one in my purse. So I have eight Philos and I have two Louis. Um, and if you were to ask, um, I have one, two, three, four, five personals and three compacts. I'm currently using the Metropole um, in warm orange. Um, I also package stuff at this desk sometimes. This is my Filofax, um, all my goods, where I stash all my post-its, my little bees. Um, all my fun post-its. I, I see people use containers, like the actual clothes ones. I, I, I'm more of a hands-on person. I like to grab stuff as I'm going. So that's that post-it um, collector. Um, just little knickknacks again, stamps, um, fun post-it notes. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I can show you the other side. My room's a little messy right now because my dog was in here playing. So this is actually um, the other side of my room. Um, this is, I don't really use this side too much, which is probably going to change once I renovate because I'm going to put a TV right in the middle where those um, two Amy Tangerine albums are. Um, this is pretty much just storage. And then I have all of my um, Smash, Smash books minus the pink one, which is in the shop at Scrappin' Time. That's where I teach classes at, so they have the pink one on display. I have my um, Heidi Swap boxes, my K & Company Smash Time capsule, my um, Snap Binder, two mini kits, bunch of full kits. Uh, these are my ribbons. They're all, again, color coordinated. And these, this is actually really cool. I just did a different way to sort my thickers. And these are all by color, R-O-Y-G-B um, colors. So greens, gold, brown, brown, white, gray, black, let's see here, purple, blue, it just goes on, 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 teal, green, those are my colors. So that's that, and then up here is my day books and the new Project Life boxes. Oh, FYI, I have Christmas lights up because it looks really nice in here when it's um, all the lights are off. And then um, I have just the, it just has like a nice uh, subtle tone to it. This is my media station. Um, I'll move that out of the way. It's just pretty much basic essential stuff. This is actually a shoe organizer from Target um, and also somebody asked what kind of printer I use. I use an HP PhotoSmart 5514. I bought it a long time ago. It still works. I like it. I think it's great. I don't print obviously photos in it. I, I use the selfie once it comes in or I go to Walgreens. Um, my Cameo Silhouette. Um, okay and then this is where fun goodies are also. This is where my scrapbook stuff is. I'm going to move these out the way again. Um, these are actually bins that I bought separately from Michaels. They pull out. And as you can see, if you pull them all the way out, these are this is actually, this wooden part right here is actually a desk. And I had an open interior. And surprisingly, two of these bins fit perfectly in here, which I absolutely love. So... I have one, two, three, four, five, six um, 12 by 12 holders in them in each. Um, it's actually by designer, like who I have the most of. I have Dear Lizzie, Echo Park, American Crafts, My Mind's Eye, Basic Gray, Hamley, um, Studio Caligo, Craft Papers, October Afternoon, Others, Amy Tan, and Tidy Swap. And then in the middle here, I have just like a 12 by 12 organizer. And then I have this little divider for twine. 
These are actually empty at the moment. I just purged a bunch of stuff. As you, again, if you follow my Instagram, you can see that I um, took a lot of stuff to an elderly home. Um, they're just really empty. I like to keep some of it open like this. Um, just so I could just grab and go. This bottom one, this is actually pretty cool. I want to show you this. This is actually all my Christmas um, December daily stuff. So I have a ton of Christmas stuff in here. So it makes me feel good to just open this up and I still have a bunch of great stuff. So hopefully I won't have to buy anything when Christmas comes around. Um, these are just packaging stuff. And I have like twine in here, more rubber stamps, um, inks. Um, and then I have my cuddle bug, 12 by 12. I just got rid of so many six by six pads. Again, this is another another one of those Ikea things. These are so addicting. And they're only $3. But I like to sort all my, these are all my um, Project Life card swap stuff. I put in here all my stays on. Smashaholic pads, um, Reese's, I love them. And then I have my sequences, wood veneers, wood veneer alphas. Um, this box I actually got from TJ Maxx and it did have my wooden stuff in it. Now it's just kind of like an open thing, so I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use for this. Some blocks and then my media station. So these are all my Studio Calico stuff. Um, Martha Stewart paints, just anything media related. And I think that's it. Oh, and then one more thing before I go. I'll show you, this is actually my embellishment station. And this is also um, sorted by designer. So this is all of my um, October afternoon stuff. So my Travel Girl, my Woodland Parks. My nine to fives, like all those cute collections. This isn't supposed to be in there. Or this. <laughs> um, but these are all of my October afternoon. And then this is Studio Calico. So this should actually be in there. It's all my Studio Calico stuff. Just girly, girly stuff. And then here's my Heidi Swap stuff. And then my Dear Lizzie stuff. And I took the tops off of these again. This is the same container as that. I took um, the tops off. My Amy Tangerine stuff. And my Pink Paisley and Heidi Swap stuff again. So that's that, guys. So I'm so glad you guys spent the last 19 minutes with me. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions. And I will show you guys the new uh, and approved craft room once it's done, and thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.